it comes to finding a new place to live, the right area can be just as important as the right property. Our real estate expert, Sandrine Minamato, has helped thousands with their home search, and she joins us this morning with tips on how to pick the perfect neighborhood. And that's a big thing. It's a big question, yeah, right? It is a big deal. It's the second thing you should do after you've gone and had your financing taken care of, and you know what number you're dealing with or numbers. Um, you really have to look at your lifestyle. What's important to you? For some people, it's a short commute. So I want to live close to where I work. And then I have more time at the end of the day to do the things I want to do or spend time with my family and friends. For other people, they're, you know what? I don't like the area where I work and I want to be as far away from that as possible. I want to live where I play. Maybe it's a recreation thing that they do or maybe it's the theater, bars and restaurants, shopping, that sort of thing that they want. So you really have to look at those, at least those two things. Start making a list. For some people that I deal with, it's I want to be close to a dog park. That's really important to them. Their dog is their family member and they want to make sure I come home from work and the dog is exercised and I can take them off leash. Um, other people are concerned with walkability. So there's a rating called a walk score and you can put in an address and it'll show you, um, it takes into consideration things like how far is it from a grocery store? Right. Can you can you walk to the bank? Can you walk to public transit? All of those sorts of things. So the higher the walk score, of course, the more popular the, the property. But this is also a good thing for people to look at if they're investing in real estate Which to rent out. Yeah. Because tenants are looking for that as well. Sometimes you have tenants that don't have cars. And this is a city where some people just don't have a car or it's a one-car family. So that sort of stuff is very important. And a lot of people, of course, are interested in the school districts. Absolutely, and those would be families who have mm -hmm. kids and they want good schools, they want good community centers and yes. you know things that are amenable. That's but right. I've seen your show Property Virgins enough to know that Sandra, you just might not be able to tick every single box. Oh, there is no way, but it's a good place to start. <laughs> At least focus your ideas, and this is it. I mean, you really have to sit down. If you're buying the property with a partner, you guys have to sit down and talk about it, get on the same page, make your list. Then you're a little bit more focused because people who don't have any area in, in mind, it may seem easier because you're not location specific, but then there are so many neighborhoods that are open to you, so you have to start somewhere. Yeah. And speaking of that, you know, some people might look outside their preferred area at some of the up and coming areas. How do you know when some something is up and coming? You know what, Marcy, it's not some people. Almost everybody has to go outside it's their preferred yeah. area, right? Very few people, money is no object. Um, so what I have seen happen in 20 years of real estate, you'll have a very sought after neighborhood and then those prices get unaffordable for the average buyer. So then what happens is on the peripheral areas of that desirable neighborhood, you have maybe smaller lots or a different kind of architecture, but it's still on the fringe of that. So it still has the great features of that. And it might be a pedestrian friendly atmosphere or it might be close to transit, or whatever it is. Um, and those areas start to become popular because they're affordable, they're in transition and people can go in and they start you know, putting in the pride of ownership, renovating those houses, giving that whole neighborhood a facelift, an injection of new life. This is great stuff. Thank you so much, Sandra. My pleasure.